Hello. This is a 4-bit adder. But it doesn't work the same way as most 4-bit adders in that it works on serial data rather than parallel. What that means is it is infinitely scalable. So this is what actually does the adding in the yellow. All the rest is just the inputs and outputs. So, bit of housekeeping. I'm using Tykan's test world and also using zombies flying and running mod. So I can run and I can fly to wherever I want to be. That. So what it starts off with is a 6 clock. The output of the clock comes up here and I'll get to that later. You'll s see why it'll all come together. This is a toggle flip-flop. I use it to halve the frequency. So this is a 12 cycle clock going into a second toggle flip-flop, halving the frequency to a 24 cycle clock. This is a pulse generator so every time this turns on every I get a pulse and I call it the quarter pulse. It spreads out several areas but one way it goes is into these for AND gates. Now the other input of the AND gates are my input signals. The outputs go up into a delay line which is then fed into my logic circuit sequentially same on this side. This quarter pulse also goes up and over and into this which I'll get to later. So these are the inputs. This is an XOR gate. So if it's XORs it goes down here goes along here goes into another XOR and so if you only have one input on either one it will go into the output remember this is a remember, you have this first bit least significant bit second most least significant etc etc so that happens. But if you have two, then nothing comes out here. A signal comes down here. And this is an AND NOT gate tuned in time so that if a signal comes in here, a signal in here will be blocked. So if I get a signal on this one, not this one, comes in here, sends a signal here, stops it here, signal here dies, nothing else happens. This one works the same, it's the clock pulse comes in, signal comes in here, and stops it so it doesn't send a clock pulse. Actually, I'll explain what this is now. Where that clock went before, it comes down here, Sends a pulse It's and knotted with the XOR and here where it 
holds this on this is also an and not and this is a cycle it's a cyclic it's a pulse starter basically when I get a signal in here this pulses this sends a pulse along around here to here and then down to here and then back to it etc and etc it also comes up here generates a new pulse along here and is XORed so basically what happens is if it's only one then it goes around straight out to output if there's two it doesn't go around but instead comes down here goes to this one and it has a delay and it goes into this loop and gets stored however and then it is removed from this loop if there is a pulse that comes in if there's a pulse that comes into here it stops and doesn't loop a second time actually if there's two it comes down around here comes around here goes up here pulses and then is XORed and the delays mean it comes to the second the pulse that comes after it so if there's so let's say we're adding 3 and 2 then the 1 bits there's 2 of them they go along this way then the 2 bit from the 3 comes along here and it matches up with the bit from before and adds in and they are XORed the 2 bit stops this from getting reset so it loops around again sends another pulse nothing's coming here sends a pulse here XOR to produce a pulse and so you get a 4 bit and I think that's it so let's go to output ok we have our delay line equally spaced delays that matches with the clock D latches that are triggered and the D latches are enabled by the quarter pulse so every four clock cycles the signal has met the same signal if the signal is the same it's in the same place and so it matches up so now let's try it with let's just put 3 and 0 and see what it does and there we are, it's a little bit glitchy but eventually settles let's see what we said before, 3 and 1 and this should produce 4 and there we have 4 and it just ripples right up so we'll do 7 7 add 1 should be 8 and 8 and that's basically how it is so we produce some 
So we just send them sequentially into the delay line and then latch them every quarter pulse. And the beauty of this is I can send four bits along one da data line with a synchronizing one. But the thing is, if I expand it out so I make that twice as long, make another T flip-flop, make that twice as long, make this twice as long, it's eight bits over two lines. Four toggle flip-flops, four times as long that way, four times as long that way, four times as long that way, 16 bits, two redstone wires. And that is what it's useful for. You can do long distance data bus with less redstone wires. And that's my video.